In this video, we are going to be talking about three tips to memorizing the Quran. Three important tips that when you stick to them, you will find that memorizing the Quran will be very, very easy for you. اصبر فإنك يا أسير شمس تدور لها الزهور متقدم رغم القيود ورائد رغم الصخور. The human soul was designed to dislike ibada. Ibada is usually difficult on the soul, and that is why as Muslims we don't just leave our souls to control us. إن النفس لا أمارة بالسوء إلا من رحم ربي. The soul naturally commands us to do evil except the one who are my Lord has favored. So, based on this, we should know that as Muslims, whenever we want to do any act of ibadah and we are finding it difficult, we should not just, you know, give up. We should know that it is natural for the soul to find it difficult. One of the Salaf, he says that he forced himself to observe uh, the night prayers for a year until Allah made it easy for him. And that is how it is. If you force yourself on a particular act of ibadah, for some time initially in the beginning stages is going to be difficult but with time allah will make it easy so in anything you want to do be it memorizing the quran uh you want to start praying nawafil you want to start fasting on the uh, mondays and thursdays you will find it difficult in the initial stages but as you continue allah is going to make it easy for you and then you, it, it becomes uh, easy for the soul number one is al-ikhlas wa dua that is sincerity and supplication the first thing is you have to be sincere in your you know you have to make sure that your intention for wanting to memorize the quran is sincere and purely for the sake of allah and then you supplicate to allah ask him pray to him that oh allah grant me this knowledge let me be able to memorize the quran and that is the first thing because uh, allah is the one that teaches allah is the one that selects Memorizing the Quran is, you know, one of the greatest things that leads to Jannah. And we know that the Jannah, khuttat bil maqari. Al Jannah is the, the steps that leads to Jannah is filled with things that the soul dislikes. Like I said before, the soul dislikes anything that is going to lead you to Jannah. So, and if this Quran, Al Quran, and the highest level of Jannah, so obviously memorizing the Quran will be one of the most difficult things for. You know the soul to do so the first thing is that you have to seek aid from allah you have to be sincere and you have to make dua and seek allah's assistance with that that's number one number two is uh you have to leave sins imam shafi rahimahullah he said shakautu ila waqi'in bisuri hibzi farsharani ila tark al-ma'asu wa qala i'lam bi anna Al-ilma nurun wa nurullahi la yuhdahu asir. Imam Shafi rahimahullah, he said, I complained to my teacher, Waki, about the how difficult it is for me to memorize. When I memorize, I easily forget. Why is it like that? So he said, فَأَرْشَرَنِي إِلَىٰ تَرْكِ الْمَعَاسُ So he, you know, guided me to leave sins. وَقَالَ إِلَمْ And he said, know that what, in al-ilma nurun, that this knowledge you see is light. And the light of Allah is not given to a disobedient person. Just think about it as light and darkness. Knowledge is light, why sins uh, are darkness. So you cannot see knowledge, uh, sorry, light and darkness existing in the same place at the same time. So if you are going to be knowledgeable, you have to what? Live sins. If you are going to memorize the Quran, you have to stay away from, you know, sins as much as you can. That is the second tip. Then, uh, the final tip is what al mudawwana and this is taken from the advice of the rasul sallam that what khair al amal adwamuha wala qal the best of actions are the ones that are consistent even if they are little the best of actions are the ones so make sure that every day you have a portion of the quran that you recite or that you memorize it's not you could memorize the entire quran but if you don't do it consistently wallahi it's possible that you will forget everything so you have a portion that you recite every day. Well, I'll call it, even if it's an ayah, but make it a routine. Well, if you were reciting an ayah of the Quran every day, think about it. You were revising an ayah of the Quran every day. It will, be, it will make the, the hills, the memorization to be. But if you only recite, you know, once a week or once whenever you feel like, then it's... And that's what one of my mentors, he says that uh, 
if it is not a routine then it is it is rubbish if it is not a routine then and it's true because in knowledge if you want to be knowledgeable it has to be you have to make it a routine you can't just do it today and tomorrow you say that i don't feel like you have to force yourself until you get to that stage where you find the pleasure in actually you know doing that act of ibadah so the the, the scholars used to say that knowledge be more the, the the beginnings of it then when you start learning when you start memorizing it's very difficult you can find that it will take you weeks you know to memorize even a page but with consistency when you are consistent and you continue doing that for you find that a time will come it will even take you less than a day to memorize a page a time will come you memorize two or three pages in a day that is what consistency can do so that is the uh, third tip consistency the first thing is what al-ikhlas wa dua have sincerity and supplicate to Allah ask for Allah's assistance in memorizing the Quran number two is to what you cannot be memorizing the Quran and still continue disobeying Allah. You have to abandon sin. And then finally, you have to be consistent in your memorization. May Allah assist all of us in memorizing His book. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.